everyone, my name is Gage and welcome to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be talking about children. Having kids is kind of a sensitive topic for me. I've never really talked about it on my channel like as a whole. I do think that I mentioned somewhere along the lines that I chose not to save sperm when I started my transition. But since I've made that decision, a lot of things have changed. And I just want to sit down and talk to you guys today about my thoughts about being a parent, a transgender parent, having my own biological kids, and just like where I am in my life in terms of being a parent. And to start off this video, like usual, if you don't know or you're new to my channel, I am transgender. When any trans person starts their transition, their doctor is most likely, or they should ask you a very important question, which is, if you want to save your sperm or like do you want to have kids in the future and when I was asked this question about almost two years ago when I was 21 years old I didn't really think that much about it because prior to my transition like I have never in my life thought about how I wanted to be a parent a mother or a father I never really particularly liked kids that much if you ask anybody that knows me they would tell you that they could like never see me as a parent and they would tell you that I don't like kids because that's how I spent most of my life. Like I just did not like kids. And so because of that reason in the moment, I thought to myself like, no, I don't want kids. I never want to have kids. So can you please just like give me the hormones because I want to start now. At this moment, I had gone through months of counseling sessions and I had been waiting a really long time to see my doctor to get prescribed the hormones. And in order to bank sperm, which is what I would have done if I wanted to have kids, I would have had to wait another month or so to start hormones. And after that long, tedious process, if you've gone through the process of trying to start hormones, you know what I'm talking about. Like you go through paperwork and you have to talk to so many people and go through so many appointments. And when you finally have the opportunity to start hormones, you don't want anything else stopping you. So at that moment, I wasn't thinking clearly in a sense that maybe my mindset on having kids would change in the future i just wanted hormones inside of my body as soon as possible and in doing so i completely irrationally gave up my ability to have biological children and in these two years i've grown and i've changed a lot as a person um and I can honestly say that my only regret about transitioning is that I decided not to save some sperm. Like that's the only thing that I regret. A big reason that I never felt like I wanted to have kids was because I never felt like I would find another human being that I would want to share the rest of my life with, to have kids with, to settle down, like white pig offense, like the generic, like ideal family vision that a lot of people have. I never had that. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am in a relationship right now. I'm very happy. Um, my boyfriend's probably watching this video right now. Um, hi, daddy. But yeah, like before him, I never dated anyone. I've never been in love before. I've never like been attached to somebody emotionally that I am with him so I never had these conversations of like do you want kids in the future like do you want to settle down do you want to have a family and since being with him like obviously since we are in a committed and serious relationship like the thought of having a family one day and having kids comes up a lot and I don't really have that option to have my own biological child because I didn't decide to bank sperm initially. And it's still like not impossible for me to have my own biological child. If I did want to at this point, I would have to stop taking hormones, wait for my sperm to start reproducing again, and then bank it, and then I would be able to start hormones again. Just like a little biology lesson on HRT. So for those of you who don't know, once you start HRT, male to female or female to male, your native, chemical which is produced in your body for me it's testosterone is being suppressed and instead of testosterone i'm being given estrogen through the form of pills so when i suppress my testosterone i'm also suppressing my ability to have kids in the sense that my sperm count reduces because i'm not producing sperm because of the lack of testosterone so 
I basically don't have like any sperm in my body left. It's like all gone. So in order to have it grow back again, I would have to stop taking hormones. The negative about that is that I would probably see a lot of things that I don't wanna see happen to my body. A lot of the fat redistribution that's happened in my body, my face, my boobs, they would most likely start to revert back to the way that they were before I started my hormones two years ago. And I spent like the last two years working towards being comfortable in my own body and i feel like i'm at a good point right now um and it's taken two years for me to get here and i feel like if i completely stopped that process and slowly like every day looked into the mirror and see myself going back to the way that i was before i feel like that would like kill me emotionally that would be draining it would put me in a state of like emotional distress and i know like my boyfriend would make me feel better and more confident and reassure me that this is something that would be beneficial in the future because at the end of the day i would be able to have my own kid but i don't necessarily know if that's like enough to jeopardize my personal happiness because i know during that period i would probably be depressed and it just sucks because all this would have been avoided if I just would have done a little bit more research and thought hardly about if I wanted to have kids. And that's basically like the main purpose of this video. I just want people to know if you're early on in your transition or if you are starting your transition soon to really be cautious about whether or not you want to have kids because it's a choice that might come back and bite you in the ass in the future. It's definitely not like completely and 100% irreversible but it will cause you a lot of trouble later on down the line. I say that if you are any way unsure about if you want to have kids and you have the financial stability and time to go preserve your sperm or freeze your eggs before you start your transition, I would 100% encourage it because it's better to have the option. Doesn't mean you necessarily have to have kids, just if you have the option to have a biological child then you won't have to go through the hell that I'm going through right now. And by no means am I saying that I would be any less of a parent to an adoptive child than I would be to a biological child. I'm just saying that, you know, having your own biological child that came from you and has grown out of like your own DNA is a special thing to have. And it kind of sucks that I took that decision so lightly and made such a rash decision. But who knows, maybe one day I'll adopt a child. Um, I mean, I know it's hard enough for same-sex couples to get custody of a child. I can't imagine how being a trans woman and trying to adopt a child would be because apparently my sexual orientation and my gender identity inhibits my ability to raise a child or care for another human being not necessarily sure how those two things like correlate with each other but that's what our society believes a lot of, but yeah just getting older and thinking about my future and being with my boyfriend has made me think a lot about having kids i honestly think i would be such a cool mom like i would go to like all of my kids sporting events and like go to their parent teacher conferences with them and i would still be like a mom and be super strict and stuff but I would still be knowledgeable about like what's popular in pop culture so I wouldn't be super embarrassing but I would probably want to embarrass my kids like every given moment like my parents did to me but yeah it's still like kind of shocking to me that I'm even making this video because like I said like I never want a kids but here I am thinking about having kids if you liked me and enjoy my content, you can subscribe to my channel for more updates on my transition, more transgender related videos. And also follow me on Twitter or Instagram. I'll put the links down below if you wanna keep up with me on other social media. If you wanna go the extra mile, you can turn on the post notifications for my videos. So um, you can be notified like when I upload. But yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next week actually okay so i'm gonna be really transparent and honest with you guys destiny 2 which is like one of my favorite games is coming out tonight so there's no way that i can 100 percent guarantee there's going to be a video next week because probably not going to be leaving my house for like 63 hours straight because i'll be playing so 
I can't tell you that I'm going to see you next week, but I can tell you that I'll see you again sometime in the future. Not that long, but like, I don't know. I don't know where I'm going. But yeah, I'm gonna end this video before I continue to ramble. I hope you all have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you later. Bye.